Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Uh, I am Dave Hayes and today we're going to go over uh, Validus uh, for the Nexus 6. Now, it's been quite a long time since they put uh, something out uh, ever since Marshmallow. Um, but uh, just like Broken, um, Validus is one of those uh, ROMs where uh, they, they're not going to release anything unless they're 100% sure that it's functioning and functioning uh, uh, very, very good. They don't want people uh, giving bug reports. They do. If you got a bug, give a bug report. But, th but they'd rather you just not have to report any bugs. Um, so I can tell you guys right now, it's running great right out of the box. Um, uh, this is for the Nexus 6. It's Android version 7.1.1. It's got the latest security patches in it. Uh, I am running uh, Singularity Kernel this time. I told you guys I was going to start letting you guys uh, see. Listen, I'm saying guys a lot. Uh, but I did tell you all I was going to let you see some uh, different kernels running. Uh, I have been testing Singularity quite a lot. Uh, it is still, um, Blackbird is still my favorite kernel. That's the one that I run as my go-to da uh, daily driver. Uh, but, but I wanted you guys to see some other options out there. And Singularity, uh, along with Flash and EX and uh, uh, a couple others, are, are very viable options. Uh, so make sure you guys don't uh, skip out on uh, some of them. Try them out, you know. Uh, not every device is the same. De some devices, like some other kernels, better. Some, you know, so you have to try them and see which one best works uh, for your needs. Um, we're going to go right on into the uh, uh, into the Wolf's Den. Uh, first up is going to be animations under system. Uh, this ROM comes with a ton of animations, so you guys can go ahead and uh, make this ROM look the way you want uh, if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, set, next up is going to be blur. Uh, this is a feature that I like quite a bit. Uh, you can actually set the blur up to whatever colors you like. Say you wanted to go with a uh, uh, with like a really light blue just on the edge. Uh, you could go with that. And when you pull down your background uh, and you notice now uh, where notifications would be, it's got that really light blue. You can change that to whatever you want. Um, it does have blur throughout. Uh, recents, uh, your quick settings, um, you know, it, it's just really, really cool. So I like that feature. Uh, theme resources is up, up next, and this is going to be where you can actually pick uh, your light, uh, your light theme, your uh, validus dark, or your automatic. Um, just a quick note here: if you guys are going to be running themes, uh, I would probably stick with the light theme, uh, so it doesn't conflict with the uh, uh, with the substratum theme that you're going to run. Um, when you run the theme that they have ba baked in like this. Uh, you're basically not going to be running with the theme. Not to say that it won't work with the theme that you're running. I'm just going to give you guys some heads up right now, okay? Um, I'm using the light. It does work with me. Uh, as far as all the themes that I've been trying out, it works on the light. I've had no issues. Moving on. Uh, expanded desktop, again, uh, basically uh, that is just an area where you can pick through your apps and uh, pick the ones that you want to show expanded whenever you run them. Um, Miscellany. <laughs> this is your miscellaneous stuff. Uh, you have your scrolling cache, media scanner on, on boot, all that. Uh, screenshot type. Uh, you can pick whether you want to take full screen, uh, full page screenshots or whether you, whether you want to pinch and zoom into a certain area and just screenshot some of it. For me, I just go with the first option uh, because after you take the screenshot, you can always crop it and, you know, and do with what you want. But guys, you can go ahead and, uh, you know, try it out. Uh, do, with, do with it whatever you want. Uh, next up is going to be the power menu. Um, your advanced reboots all the way at the top. You can disable it. Or you can hide it on your lock screen if you want. Uh, or you can have it show always as I do. Um, they do have quite a few options to choose from for your uh, lock screen. Uh, you guys know me. Uh, my power menu. I use it like a lot of people use their quick settings. So uh, I pretty much pick almost everything that's on there. Uh, under lock screen. Uh, and of course that's swiping to the right. Uh, first up is going to be your weather. Uh, you can pick and choose what you want to show as far as your uh, weather goes on your lock screen. It's all working very, very good. Uh, if I go into my lock screen right now, uh, you guys can see uh, weather's showing very nicely. Uh, I've had no issues whatsoever with that. Um, you have your visualized settings, media, cover, art, all that. Pretty much everything you guys are used to seeing uh, as far as lock screen settings go, they're all going to be here. Uh, you, have, you have your uh, uh, your gestures, a uh, lock screen torch. Uh, all of that, it's there. Now, they also give you the option to put on center and bottom shortcuts. Uh, by the screen shortcuts are going to be your center. Um, all you do is open that up, uh, hit the plus button, pick an app, and Bob's your uncle, and you're good to go. So uh, that's pretty much it for the uh, lock screen. We're going to swipe to the right. It's going to bring up the status bar. 
Uh, this is going to be, uh, there's a ton of settings on here. Uh, status bar items, of course, you guys, uh, you know, this is basically picking and choosing what icon you want showing in your status bar uh, whenever that app is running. Um, you can hide it, like say right now I'm casting uh, because I am recording and it's considered casting. So if I was to turn casting on, it would show a picture of a cast up there. I don't want that showing, so I just turn it off. Um, let's see, next up is uh, status bar weather and temperature. Um, as you guys can see, it's working great. Uh, you basically set it up however you want, uh, you know, your, uh, show your, you know, whether you want to show hidden, with scale, without, uh, whatever you want, color, all that, um, and good to go. It, they even give you a font size, which is really cool. Be careful with it. Um, it goes up quickly. You, you click that up in the center and it's going to be like at 50 and it's, it's crazy. Uh, let's see, next up is going to be your battery. Um, basically, uh, it's your battery style icons. Uh, they do have one thing on here they call Big Circle. Um, it, uh, it just gives you a huge circle. So if you guys want to run with a huge circle, uh, there it is. They do allow you to color it as it's charging. I really wish they would let us color it. Even if it wasn't charging, that would be awesome. Um, but again, you know, nobody's doing it. So, uh, I can see why they're not. Uh, they did, uh, however, include a battery bar on this, which is awesome. Uh, right now I'm running at orange. You can't see it right now because of this real, you know, white background. Uh, but I could change it to whatever I want. Uh, let's go with a purple. Uh, that'll show up maybe a little bit. Uh, let's go with a red. Maybe that'll really, maybe that'll show up if I go with red. Let's go red. Yeah, it's still not showing up. Uh, anyways, but it's there. You'll see it. Uh, but you can go charging color, uh, low color, all that. Uh, you can pick your DPI. Uh, I was going with one. That there, now it's showing up. That's why it was at one DPI. Um, but I'm just, I'm happy they have the battery bar uh, included with this. I know a lot of people don't like it. You don't have to run with it. Uh, let's see, next up is going to be your clock and date. Uh, you can go right, left, center if you want. Um, you know, seconds, uh, AM, PM, date, date style, format, you know. And they even let you choose the font style. Right now I'm running at 17. Be real careful with this. If you click in the center, it'll take you up to 60 DPI and bam, you're screwed. So uh, I'm going to run this back down to about 17 DPI and uh, that's good for me. But you guys, you know, have fun with it. Uh, next up is going to be the carrier label. If you guys run with a carrier label uh, or if you want to change it uh, and run with a custom carrier label, uh, this is going to be where you go for that. Um, notifications are up next. They do give you the heads up option to turn it off. Thank you very much. Uh, don't like heads up, uh, so I do turn it off. Uh, but these are the other uh, settings for your notification. Of course, all the way at the bottom, you're going to have your breathing notifications. Uh, if you are one of those that still use that feature. Um, quick settings are up next. Now, under quick settings, this is where the changes come that are really, really making me happy. And that is the headers. Uh, they have included headers back in with the builds. Thank you very much. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I think before 6 pulled the plug or before Frankie did, um, I think the last build of 6 was actually including headers. Um, and I'm just so happy they're bringing this option back. It was in Marshmallow. It was one of my favorite features. Uh, I'm just hoping they go, you know, a little further with this. But right now, this is what we got, and I'm thankful for what we got. Um, they give you a default, Nature Poly, uh, Nature Random, and, of course, Wavy by Travis Hall. Um, I'm running with the Nature Random. Uh, that gives you a random picture comes up, you know, every once in a while, and it's different about every, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes it changes. Um, so... Uh, that's how I have that set up. You guys can set it up, set it up however you want. Uh, you do have brightness slider, brightness icon, your brightness control. Uh, your quick pull down is set by default uh, on the right side. Uh, QS tiles, music tiles. If you guys are into that, brightness or your vibrate on touch. Uh, they do give the Wii, or the uh, Wi-Fi easy toggle and your data and your Bluetooth easy toggle. Uh, and then of course you have your um, your columns and row setup. Uh, just remember, guys. They do give you the option to go more on your rows uh, in the portrait mode. Don't go more than five. Um, if you go more than five, you're going to lose them. Right now, I'm running five. That fits it just perfectly. And if I go to pull up on that, they disappear. So you're going to lose six, seven, and eight. Whatever you set up, you're going to lose them. Uh, set it up for five, and then anything else, swipe to the right, and that's where that's uh, going to be at. All right. Uh, animations are all the way at the bottom. Uh, they have the uh, uh, no animations, flip and rotate, and then you have your speed, and then you have, of course, your interpolar. I like to run with linear. Uh, you guys can uh, run with none or, you know, pick and choose from there and uh, tell me about your experiences because uh, <laughs> I really would like to know. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, that was quick settings. Uh, traffic indicators. If you guys want to know about your data coming in, going out, um, then definitely turn this on. This will give you an idea of if you're having a data leak somewhere or whatever. Uh, anytime data comes in or goes out, it's going to show it. So if you guys want to run it, here's where you go to run it at. Uh, then, of course, all the way at the bottom, they have the double tap to sleep, which I am going to shut off. I hate that feature, but I know a lot of people use it. Um, swipe to the right brings up the navigation. Uh, first up is going to be your button settings. Uh, basically, button settings are your volume control. If you guys like to listen to a lot of music and stuff like that, uh, this is going to be where you're going to uh, go to set all of that up at. Uh, next up is, of course, your nav bar settings. Uh, you can enable it or disable the nav, nav bar. Then you have your dynamic nav bar, which I like. It kind of changes colors. Uh, with uh, with the theming, um, kind of, sort of, the background of it does. Uh, then you have your navigation mode, which uh, they are running Dirty Unicorns, uh, Smart Bar, and Fling, which is awesome. Um, you guys can go with the Smart Bar or the Fling. Uh, first up, I will show you the uh, Smart Bar settings, since that is what I'm running. Um, and these are basically uh, your Smart Bar uh, settings. They do give you the button transparencies, button tint. You can color them if you want, which is awesome, again. I uh, just like the fact that they're giving us a little more theming options, uh, a little bit more than some of the other ROMs out there, which is, like again, just you know, kick-ass. You guys know me. I like my options. Um, if you do want to set up the multi-window mode, uh, I'm going to try to do this quickly, uh, but there may be some people new to the video, so I'll show you. You click on the toggle button at editor, uh, press and hold the button that you want to change, uh, click on actions, uh, then you want to click on whether a single tap, double tap, or long press. In this case, I'm going to go long press. Then pick, uh, choose select custom action. Uh, if you scroll down to um, split screen, that's going to give you that split screen or multi window. Okay. Now, if I want to go to last app, you know wherever it switches back and forth, back and forth uh, to the last couple used apps, uh, we're going to press and hold again. Uh, we're going to uh, click on actions, go to double tap, uh, select custom action. Then we're going to go to last app. So now that's all set up where if I long press, I'm going to have my multi-window mode. If I double tap that, it'll switch between back and forth between uh, last app. And all you got to do is click off on that X. It's saved. You're good to go. And uh, and that's it. That's pretty much it. Uh, now, if we go into the fling, we'll go to fling settings. Uh, I will scroll down here and let you guys see what all the fling settings are. Uh, you know, guys, I don't use them, but uh, I do know a lot of people that do. Uh, so this is going to be what's there. So if you guys want to use them, there you go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go back into the uh, smart bar settings. Um, they do cut. It does come with pulse, uh, which I love again. Uh, and these are your pulse settings. You can check. You can uh, change the color of it if you want. Um, you do have your uh, uh, your fading blocks mode uh, settings right here. And if you want to go with the other one, just go to your render mode. Uh, pick on the solid lines. Go all the way at the bottom. And you have your solid lines mode setting, which of course is your sanity level and your lava lamp speed, which I like that. I, that's the setting I go with, so uh, that's the one I like the most. Um, that is pretty much it for nav bar. Uh, oh, and guess what, guys? Pi's working. So <laughs> there you go. Pi's working. Um, just so you guys know, there's quite a few settings underneath the Pi, too, so you guys can go in there and set that up however you like. And they, they even have color in here. Uh, yeah, they even have Pi colors. So you can get in there and you can set up all the pie colors if you want to do that. Uh, that's where you go to, to uh, set that up at. Whoops, uh, backed out too far. Um, yeah, we were there. Uh, last but not least is going to be the multitasking. Um, they do give you Omni Switch, which is cool. If you guys are a user of Omni, uh, this is going to be where you go to uh, turn it on, set up all your settings. Uh, is going to be right here. And, uh, and then last but not least is going to be the recent settings. Uh, I'm running full screen. As far as the uh, um, you know your uh, your recents go, you can go default, uh, full screen, status bar only, or nav bar only, and that's on your immersive uh, recents. Um, you can enable clear all button. Uh, I do. I have it on the bottom left. You guys can choose wherever you want to put it at. Uh, and then of course, all the way at the bottom, uh, they do have the switch that if you want to use Omni as opposed to the uh, recents. You just click on that, and you can uh, you can use the Omni switch. So you could, in theory, run Omni as your recents and set up your uh, recents button down at the bottom uh, as just a uh, multi window or uh, you know whatever you want uh, with the uh, with the custom settings in uh, smart bar settings. So 
that is it guys uh that is the wolf's den uh quickly i will go uh, under display let you guys see what uh the display settings are even though uh there's nothing in here that i've seen any different um than any other uh, nougat rom out uh i'll let you guys see the sound settings quickly uh, there they are. They do have the link, uh, the link ring and notification uh, volumes, which I like. Uh, some of the Nougat ROMs I've seen out, they don't have that. And sometimes I like to have them linked and sometimes I don't. And I like having that switch in there. So this is an option that I like to see in a ROM. So uh, good on you guys for doing, uh, for putting that in there. Uh, let's see, uh, under other sounds, of course, these are going to be your uh, other, uh, you know, under other sound settings. If you guys want to shut things off and of course uh, i do run with a lot of that but since i'm recording i have most of it shut off uh, so it doesn't inadvertently blow you guys eardrums out just in case i get you know a notification which lately i've been, been getting a lot of <laughs> emails and messages so um security quickly we'll scroll down through here and let you guys see this uh you do have your uh device administrators uh, unknown sources make sure you turn that on um, that way you can install uh, you know apps from your uh, internal storage or from you know anything that you downloaded other than the play store you're going to want to have uh, have that turned on uh, and last but not least i am going to go down i am going to go down and let you guys see the developer options we'll scroll down through here quickly uh, make sure that you do have the uh, android debugging turned on which um, i'm almost 100 percent sure that it is turned on by default so you don't have to click that on i would double check though just to make sure it is on um, and the drawing section, they do have that set at 0 .06, which is cool. Um, it's kind of weird, <laughs> but cool. I set mine at 0 0.5. Um, and if you look at it, if you look at the way they do it, um, I'm not going to touch that because it is, for me to get a 0 0.1 <laughs> movement out of that, I'm not going to mess with it. So 0 .06 is great. Um, that is what I would recommend. Stick with what they have. It works good. You get just enough of an animation that it really makes everything look cool. Um, so uh, that's how I would go. You guys can do, you know, again, however you want to do that. You can go with 100% if you want. Um, and guys, that's it. Uh, that's Validus. Uh, I will tell you guys, it's running 100% for me. I've had no issues whatsoever. Data's working. Uh, cameras are working. I've had no audio issues, no video issues, no stuttering, no stammering. It's a great ROM. So if you guys are looking for... Um, you know, those of you that lost six, uh, because, uh, you know, Frankie pulled the plug, um, because people were giving it out, giving out links. Uh, I can tell you this is a good ROM to run. It's not six, uh, and nothing, I don't think right now is as, uh, um, at least, yeah, I'm not going to go there. Anyways, uh, this is a good ROM to run, guys. So I'll just tell you that right now. Um, and I know got, a lot of you guys are going to be looking for ROMs right now, uh, that we're running six. This is a good option for you. Okay. Um, I can't think of anything else. Um, no, I can't. Uh, everything's running great. I did want to show you the thing I'm running quickly. Uh, it's a new one. Uh, last time, I think I showed you guys uh, the Samsung one they have out. Um, and again, I'm trying to keep, keep with that same light theme because I know some of you guys out there don't like dark themes or don't like my wild themes that I kind of like. Uh, so I thought I'd try to look for something a little more um, on the contemporary side. Uh, and right now I'm running what's called LG uh, UX 5.0. It's a free theme. Uh, and actually, I think it's pretty cool. If you, if you like a nice, white, uh, clean-looking theme, uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, it's got just enough custom features in it uh, where you guys can see how it's running. I know it looks like I don't have it on. Uh, that's because uh, you have to go to the uh, UX 5 Plus, and that gives you all of the features uh, that I'm running with right there. So... Uh, oh, boot animation is really cool, man. It actually has the LG boot animation. Not sure if it's going to show it or not. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me see. Please start boot animation. Uh, okay, let, let's see if it'll show it. I don't think it's going to show it. It's, it's pretty intense, so normally when you get a boot animation like that, it just doesn't show it. Uh, but if you guys uh, have an LG device and you know what that red uh, smiley face type thing is, that's the boot animation this comes with. Uh, but it also has the, uh, the fonts. It's, it comes with uh, LG's uh, fonts. So uh, if you guys are into you know, the font packages that come with uh, all the LG devices, uh, this is pretty much it. Um, it also comes with uh, LG font packs. Right there are their font packs. And that's it. No wallpapers. 
Um, but it's a pretty cool theme. I highly recommend it. Again, guys, if you want something nice and white, uh, you know, uh, um, conservative, I guess, is the word to say. It, this is a nice theme to run. Um, well, guys, that's uh, Validus. I told you I'd get it out to you as soon as I could. Uh, this is my new uh, my new video format. I want to make sure everything uh, is running 100%. And if there's something wrong, I want to I want to know about it. So I'm going to want to run the ROM for a while. Uh, I was doing a lot of crack flashing before. Try to get that video out. Let you guys see it. Um, all these nougat ROMs that are out right now, they're pretty much the same. At least in my opinion, they all look the same. Uh, there's nothing different. Nobody's trying for differences or differences anymore. It's it's. It's getting crazy. Uh, Google really sucks, is all I got to say. Um, and again, guys, I think Nougat's going to be our last, uh, it's going to be the last rendition of uh, Android that we're going to be able to customize. Uh, just my opinion, and God, I hope I'm wrong, but um, it's just the way things are looking. So, uh, anyways, guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I do want to thank all of my subscribers. You guys are awesome, uh, and I will see you on the next one.